Hi, my name is Steve Maruzzi. We're here at the training center. We're going to talk about the combustion setup for the Mascot FT products. Um, please remember, anytime you're servicing or repairing a piece of equipment, you must shut off gas and electric prior to making those repairs. However, today we're actually going to be doing combustion setup, so we need the boiler actually running. Uh, first thing we're going to do is remove the cover. Uh, there are four screws, two on the top, two on the bottom. I've already removed those for the demonstration, so I'm simply going to lift the cover out of position. All right, so the next thing we want to do is disconnect the outdoor sensor wire. And the reason is, obviously, for example, like today, uh, it's above 70 degrees and I'm above my warm weather shutdown, so even giving the boiler call for heat will not allow it to operate uh, so we can get in and do combustion setup. So very simply, I'm going to power the boiler off. I'm going to disconnect one of the outdoor reset wires. To remove the outdoor wire, we have a plastic cover. Simply pull forward. I'm going to slide that down and remove one of the outdoor reset wires. With that disconnected, I'm going to power the display back up or the boiler back up and we'll go through a sequence. Now we're registering 87 degrees. That's the tank temperature or the heat exchanger temperature. Uh, we haven't been running this very long. Outdoor sensor is disconnected and the outdoor sensor symbol is flashing. That means that that sensor is disconnected. Uh, I'm going to give the boiler a call for heat. All right, so now you can see a flame signal appeared on the screen in a radiator symbol. That tells me we're in central heat mode and we have a flame signal. You can look in your sight window and you'll actually see the flame appear. The very first thing we want to do is set up a combustion analyzer. I'm going to remove the plug from the vent terminal and install the combustion analyzer. Now with my analyzer installed, I want to lock the boiler into high fire. So here we have natural gas, which is dip switch 5, which is on the left-hand position or the on position. We have a 3-inch vent, which is dip switch 4, which should be to the left position, which is the on position. To lock the boiler into high fire, dip switch 6, simply push that to the left-hand side, to the on position, which will now lock our boiler into high fire. Uh, be patient with your analyzers. Some analyzers can take up to 90 seconds to start uh, adjusting. Uh, be very patient with your analyzer. We force the boiler into high fire. So what we're looking for, our range for high fire, our maximum fire, uh, is 8.5 to 10.5% CO2. Looking at our analyzer, we can see we're well below that. So we need to make an adjustment. All adjustments on these are made in low fire. So what we have to do is put dip switch 6 back to the right hand position or the off position. Dip switch 7, which is our minimum fire, turn that to the on position and let the boiler modulate down. Once we're in low fire, now we can readjust our low fire setting. So what we want to do is make a gas valve adjustment under this cap. So I'm going to remove the cap. It's a number four millimeter Allen key. And now we can make an adjustment. And right on the valve, it's going to show you clockwise will increase, counterclockwise will decrease. Well, we know we had to make a clockwise or increase adjustment. So what I'm going to do is just take a very small adjustment. So we made our low fire adjustment, what we want to do is be very patient with your analyzer. Make sure we're within range for low fire. As the chart will show you, min fire or low fire, that range is between 8 and 10 percent for natural gas. So as you can see, we're slightly below 10 percent, which is good. We're within range. We want to turn the boiler back to high fire. To do that, we go back to our dip switches. We turn dip switch 7 to the off position which is the right hand side, dip switch 6 to the left hand or on position and allow that boiler to modulate to high fire. Once we've run in high fire, we wait and make sure we're within range. Okay, so now that we've checked our high fire, we're running around 9293% CO2. We'll go back in one more time and double check our low fire. I'm going to throw dip switch 6 to the right hand position, dip switch 7 to the left hand position, 
be patient with your analyzer, let that modulate down, and double check your low fire adjustment. So now that we've gone in and checked the low fire and made an adjustment on low fire, we want to go back to high fire and just confirm that we're within the range of eight and a half to ten and a half percent for natural gas. So I'm going to throw dip switch seven back to the right hand position, which is the off position. Dip switch six, which is our maximum fire. Turn that to the on position. The boiler will now modulate up and we can double check our high fire adjustment. So now that we've checked again, our high fire CO2 is around 9.4%. Low fire was running around 9%. We want to make sure that we go back in and put this back into normal operation. In this case, dip switch six, because we're in high fire, goes back to the right hand position or the off position. <coughs> Next, we can de-energize our call for heat. Let the pump run to get rid of the residual heat. We'll remove our combustion analyzer. Make sure our test plug is back in and tight so we don't get condensate leaking on the top of the appliance. We'll power off the boiler. We'll reconnect our outdoor sensor. We'll put the plastic cover back on into position and snap it in. Next, you can put the cover door back on. If you have any questions, please contact the factory at 1-800-900-9276. Thank you.